2008 Subaru Impreza 2.5i. This is the one with the snap timing belt that I just picked up. Got it in time, put a new belt on, and it, the motor turns over freely, but we're gonna do a compression test now. I relieve the fuel system. Pull the gas cap. I'm gonna pull the fuse for the fuel pump. Come on over here, I'll show you. I have actually already pulled it. It will be the fuse. It's a 15 amp fuse right here. As you can see, fuel pump. So let's start with the uh, number one cylinder. Pulling the entire air box assembly out. To access the spark plugs in the number one and number three. So removed the spark plug boot wire from cylinder number one and I've threaded in the uh, I believe it's M14 compression tester fitting it was actually the threaded hose no adapter needed attaching the gauge to the valve So that was that was pretty healthy, 210 psi. I'm gonna go ahead and do the number three cylinder now, and I'll pull the spark plug wire boot, the spark plug, um, just in case you've never done on a Subaru. Spark plugs can be somewhat of a challenge because of how close the heads are to the frame rail. Step one, get the boot off. There we go. I'm just gonna pull this up out of the way. And I've done this a couple a couple different adapters, but what I've got, the uh, the valve cover gasket definitely needs to be done on this. I've already ordered that, but uh, regardless of if I replace the heads or rebuild them, uh, the uh, spark plug wells are pretty, were pretty loaded with oil when I first tried this. So what I've got, this allows me to get to all four, the two inch adapter, five eighths spark plug socket, uh, three eighths to three eighths universal. And that allows me to just wiggle it down in, it sticks out just enough. This is highly unnecessary of all these adapters I got, <laughs> just cause they were, <laughs> I was lazy and didn't wanna just connect what was already on there. So. 3 8 drive and I can easily there we go. make sure it's well seated and it's gonna break it free and it's loose enough to now spin out by hand make sure it's out all the way before you start to pull out or you lose your spark plug off the socket like I just did, especially if it's coated with oil. Slip it a bit. There we go. Oh, and we dropped it. So, clean that off. Set that spark plug aside, and we will thread in. Like I said, it's a M14, and this is just straight up on the hose, no adapter for it. Thread this into the number three cylinder. Come on now. Make sure I'm going in squarely and just. Just hand tight against the O-ring. You don't want to over tighten it and get your uh, hose stuck in there. That way we'll attach our gauge. Let's see. Let's see what this one reads. 
So zero compression in cylinder number three. After that nice result from cylinder one, I was hoping that I'd get away with not having to replace this side um, and see how the other side checks. But all right, so that head's gonna have to come off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check the other side. This side, definitely gonna be harder to get at with the battery in place. Um, to change the spark plugs, I pull the batteries out, but, excuse me, I'm going to try to leave the battery in so I don't have to uh, pull it out and then put it back in to do the compression test. So I've got my first little section there in place, Let's see if I can set this up, and then with my long adapter on here, extension. Be able to break that spark plug out. Oh man, that was in there tight. <clears throat> so then I can pull the rest of it out by hand. Again, trying to make sure that I've got it completely threaded out before I attempt to bring it out so I don't lose my spark plug. <laughs> well, there it is. Should have enough bend to get this hose in and get it threaded. the number four so this is the number two cylinder the number four cylinder is going to be a bit of a challenge without taking the battery out but we could quickly pull the battery out put the compression tester in and uh put the battery back in so we can crank it but we'll at least get through the first three See if we can set this where we can view it from in, or you can view it as I crank. Boy, come on now. What do you think? Can you see that? Cylinder one checked out great. Cylinders two and three zero compression. Let's move on to four. And since cylinder four is so much fun, went ahead and took out the battery to provide uh, easy access. And we'll just swap it back in. We do, all right. See if that's connecting well enough to do this test. All right. <laughs> Zero. Oh, all right. Well, after that very promising test in cylinder number one, 210 PSI, all of the other three cylinders likely have bent valves. So, regardless, we've got to pull both heads, either rebuild them, or swap them out completely if I can find a decent set of heads or we pull the whole motor and put something else in see what happens